I'm Robert Smith, I'm the town manager for the town of Windermere. Today we're going to talk about the boathouses. And the reason that I'm talking about the boathouses today is because there's a lot of rumors and hearsay going around. So if you're one of those people that gets on next door and puts out information or misinformation, please stop. Um, it makes my job a lot harder. It makes a lot of people, you know, question what's going on. Um, and we have to do videos like this to make sure that we're pretty much taking care of the rumors, taking care of the hearsay. Um, so please just, you know, be responsible when you're on these social media sites that you actually know the information before you're putting that information out there. Uh, if you hear from a friend, a neighbor, please check with the town first so we can verify what you hear. Um, you know, I was getting emails this weekend about, you know, the boathouses and this or that, but uh, again, when somebody gave me a call or sent me an email, I gave them the uh, truth, uh, and that's why we're doing this video today. So as you know, we have five boathouses here. They've been with the town for quite some time. I think one was originally platted in 1927. Um, you know, the first one is actually, I think, the, uh, the original one. Uh, but since then, and actually since uh, about 20 years ago, probably in about 2020, uh, the town decided to lease these boathouses out. So we entered into five different leases. Uh, and just after those leases were uh, entered into, uh, and I'm not 100% sure how those individuals were selected on uh, who got the leases and who didn't get the leases, um, but irregardless, uh, those leases were first for initial term of 10 years um, and then they automatically renewed for another 10 years so it pretty much was a 20-year uh, lease um, and those leases actually expire in february of 2021 so next year they expire uh, we don't have to send notice we don't have to send uh, any information to those people that actually lease those boathouses because it actually automatically terminates then they have a certain amount of time to um, take out what they actually have in the boathouses, uh, and then it becomes the property of the town of Windermere. And this is where we're here to talk about today. There has been no decision, and I mean no decision, as to what is going to happen to these boathouses. Um, we're taking it to the Historical Preservation Board, we're taking it to Parks and Recreation, uh, and then probably in December, uh, we'll take it to town council to discuss what they actually want to do. Uh, or what additional information they want to gather before they make a decision on what to do with these boathouses. Um, so again, you know, the leases are up, so the town is not going to enter into a new lease until there is a decision made by town council. Now those decisions or those options are, is to either renew the leases to the current tenants, uh, to create some sort of system uh, and some sort of requirements within that system to lease that out to new um, tenants, uh, and some of those conditions may be that they would have to uh, bring, them out, bring them up to standards, bring them up to historical standards, uh, so they maintain that historical look. Yes, the town council does have the option to go ahead and demos, demo these um, boathouses if they want, um, but I think, again, you know, these have been part of the Windermere for uh, so long um, that I think the intent is going to be to try to save these as much as possible. And again, Historical Preservation Board is looking at different ways in order to um, you know, save them, restore them, uh, and actually lease those. But again, no decision's been made. Also, a rumor that I heard was that we were going to demolish these and put up a new uh, boat ramp over here. That is completely false. Again, nothing has been um, you know, written in stone and nothing has been decided upon. Um, but again, the leases are up in February. Uh, it'll be taken through Historical Preservation Board, Parks and Recreation, and then we'll actually probably hold a workshop with town council to open it up for discussion on what they want to do with these boathouses. Uh, and then the entire town is invited to those different meetings uh, so they can you know, provide their input of what to do with these, whether they want to keep them historic, uh, whether they want to figure out a way to actually lease them out to other residents, uh, so on and so forth. But again, nothing has been decided yet. Uh, so keep an eye on to the town's website, Facebook page, uh, sign up to our Windermere app, uh, or you can actually contact me, my contact information is down here, uh, to always get the truth of what is going on in and around town, the town of Windermere. Because again, once the rumor mill starts, it's hard for me to stop unless people start contacting me or I have to do these videos to squelch those rumors. So again, thank you very much. I'm Robert Smith. And for the time being, again, nothing is going on with these boathouses. Thank you.